Queensland Blaster Chris Lynn is set to play his first JLT Cup match for Queensland in five years on Sunday in Townsville. Everyone asks what my goals are. I don't, I don't say runs or, or anything like that. I say try and play 12 months of the year without getting injured. So number one goal is stay fit and play every game as possible. Lynn will captain the Bulls, who will be without six first-choice players for the 50-over tournament. It's been five years since I've put on the Maroon, Maroon one-day clothes. I was named to be captain you know, one of those years, probably four years ago, so to get that opportunity right now has is, is been something I've been waiting for a long time and um, you know, we've got a young group and especially with the guys who are on the test team, I think it's a good opportunity to stand up um, off the field and, and show, just lead the guys on the field with the bat in hand as well. Queensland young guns Billy Stanlake and Max Bryant looked in ominous form ahead of the opening match against Victoria. Lynn suggesting the 19-year-old opener could be one to watch in Maroon. Exciting young player. Um, obviously very raw to the game, but I think you know what he can offer up the top and really grab momentum early is huge in one-day cricket. Um, you know we've obviously got him on the books for the Brisbane Heat as well, so that's very exciting. And um, yeah, we're going to see over the next well, three or four weeks what he can do, and hopefully I can build some partnership and a, and a strong relationship with him because I think moving forward he's going to be a, you know a big player for Queensland cricket over the next few years. As for a captain to model himself on, Lynn is looking no further than his fellow Bash brother. Having played under Brendan McCullum the last couple of years and, and <clears throat> been fairly tight with him, I think that um, an aggressive brand of cricket is the way forward and that's what I'm going to try and implement with the young guys.